Hello students how are you all doing i hope all of you are really well students today we are going to study the first chapter from your beehive book which is the fun they had it is written by isaac asimov students let's start the chapter now the schools of the future you can see in this picture that it indicates learning through computers virtual classrooms moving e text and robotic teacher now this is the schools of the future margi even wrote about it that night in her diary on the page headed 17 may 2157 she wrote today tommy found a real book so margi has a habit of writing in her diary now she has written the date 17 may 2157 so this is a story which is written in the future and it is 2020 so it is 137 years from now okay it was a very old book margi's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper now margi has seen this book very old book which his brother tommy had found now margi is recollecting that his her grandfather once told her when he was small his grandfather said that all the stories were printed on paper they turned the pages which were yellow and crinkly and it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen you know so margi never had seen a book and she found a old book and it was really yellow and crinkly crinkly means with many folds or lines in a wrinkled way now it was really funny for margi because she has never seen that words that this stand still she has always found it moving because she was learning on a computer where words were not standing still they were supposed to move on a screen and then when they turned back to the page before it had the same words on it that it had had when they read it the first time gee said tommy what a waste when you are through with the book you just throw it away i guess our television screen must have had a million of books on it and it is good for plenty more i would not throw it away so tommy is saying that what a waste that why do you have to keep a book when you have read it just throw it away no need of keeping it because television screen has a capacity of holding so many books million of books right same with mine said maggie she was 11 and had not seen as many tele books as tommy had he was 13 she said where did you find it so maggi was 11 years old and tommy was 13 years old in my house he pointed without looking because he was busy reading in the attic what's it about school attic is a space just below the roof which is used for storing things maggi was scornful school what's there to write about school I hate school. Margie always hated school, but now she hated it more than ever. Scornful means showing you you find something worthless. So she thought that what is there to write about school? Come on, school is no fun. You cannot write about school because she always hated school. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. So the mechanical teacher the magi was having mechanical teacher who was teaching her and giving test on in geography subject. Now she was not having a real teacher like we have in in these days but instead she was having a mechanical teacher. He was a round little man with a red face and a whole box of tools with dials and wires. So this is the county inspector who is going to fix the mechanical teacher. He smiled at Maggi and gave her an apple then took the teacher apart. So the inspector came to fix the mechanical teacher. He also gave Maggi an apple 
and he took the teacher apart for obviously to fix it. Margie had hoped he would not know how to put it together again, but he knew how all right. And after an hour or so, there it was again, large and black and ugly, with a big screen on which all the lessons were shown and the questions were asked. Now Margie here is hoping that I wish uh, the mechanical teacher never gets back to into its shape again because she hated learning. But the inspector that had come, he was a genius at his work and he fixed it. That was not so bad. The part Margie hated most was the slot where she had to put homework and test papers. She always had to write them out in a punch code. They made her learn when she was six years old. And the mechanical teacher calculated the marks in no time. So she, the part that she hated the most was putting or submitting the homework and test papers. The inspector had smiled after he was finished and patted Margie's head. He said to her mother, It is not the little girl's fault, Mrs. Jones. I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick. Geared means adjusted to a particular standard or level. So the inspector is saying to her mother, Don't worry, it's not her fault. She is doing quite well. I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick. So if she was supposed to study something that was supposed to be of class 6, so she was reading which uh, the subject which belonged to class 9 students. So she was not able to match the pace of that higher standard because of which she was doing worse and worse and worse in her geography test. Those things happen sometimes. I have slowed it up to an average 10 year level. Actually, the overall pro pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory. And he patted Margie's head again. So the inspector is saying, uh, saying to her mother that don't worry, I have brought the level down of the, uh, of the mechanical teacher and she is doing quite well. Her, her progress is okay, satisfactory. And to convince or to, you know, uh, uh, to motivate the Margie, he patted the Margie's head. Margie was disappointed. She had been hoping they would take the teacher away altogether. They had once taken Tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector had blanked out completely. So, she said to Tommy, Why would anyone write about school? Tommy looked at her with very superior eyes. Because it's not our kind of school, stupid. This is the old kind of school that they had hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So, the uh, Maggie is really curious that why they have written about school. There is nothing to write about school. But Tommy says that, are you stupid? They're not writing about our school. It's an old kind of school which existed hundreds of years ago. He added loftily, pronouncing the word carefully. Centuries ago, Margie was hurt. Well, I don't know what kind of school they had or had all the time ago. Loftily here means in a superior way. Okay. Sure, they had a teacher, but it was not a regular teacher. It was a man. A man? How could be a man be a teacher? Well, he just told the boys and girls things and gave them homework and asked them questions. A man is not smart enough. Sure he is. My father knows as much as my teacher. He knows almost as much. I betcha. Betcha means I bet you. It's an informal way of saying I'm sure. Okay. Margie was not prepared to dispute that. She said, I would not want a stranger man in my house to teach me. Tommy screamed with laughter. You don't know much, Margie. The teachers did not live in the house. They had a special building and all the kids went there. And all the kids learned the same thing. Sure, if they were the same age. So Margie is very curious that how a strange man will come to my house and teach me. I will not like that. So Tommy is saying that, oh, you're such a kid. No, no, it's not like that. that the strange man will come to your house. All the students will go into the school, which is the special building where kids and teachers meet, like we have it in nowadays. But this is really strange for Margie because she has not heard of anything like this. But my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to the fit, the mind of each body and girl, each body. Each boy, sorry, sorry. 
But my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl it teaches and that each kid has to be taught differently. Just the same they did not do it that way then. If you don't like it, you don't have to read the book. I did not say I didn't like it, Maggie said quickly. She wanted to read th- about those funny schools. Now Maggie is really, you know, she is liking the old kind of school and she is not liking. She is kind of confused. So once Tommy said, okay, if you have so much issues with the old school, don't read it. It's okay, I will read the book. Then Maggie said, I didn't say I didn't like it. So Maggie is really curious to know about the funny schools. They weren't even half finished when Maggie's mother called, Maggie, school! So it was time for Maggie to attend her school. Maggie looked up. Not yet, Mama. Now, said Mrs. Jones. And it's probably time for Tommy too. Maggie said to Tommy, Can I read the book some more with you after school? Maybe, he said nonchalantly. Nonchalantly means he is not showing any enthusiasm or interest. He walked away whistling. The dusty old book tucked beneath his arm. Maggie went into the schoolroom. It was right next to her bedroom and the mechanical teacher was on and waiting for her. It was always on at the same time every day except Saturday and Sunday because her mother said little girls learned better if they learned at regular hours. The screen was lit up and it said Today's arithmetic lesson is on the addition of proper fractions. Please insert yesterday's homework in the proper slot. So this is something that the mechanical teacher is saying. So we have human teachers. They are full of fun, their interest, their voice modulation is different. But the mechanical teacher that Maggie had, it had the same tone of saying everything. It, had, it was never showing any kind of interest. Or, you know, any kind of modulation of voices. Maggie did so with a sigh. Sigh means exhaling a deep breath, showing that you are not interested or showing that you are upset. She was thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. So, Maggie is lost into the imagination of the old kind of schools. All the kids from whole neighborhood came, laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together in the schoolroom, going home together at the end of the day. They learned the same things, so they could help one another with homework and talk about it. And the teachers were people. The mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen. When we add fractions 1 by 2 and 1 by 4, so mechanical teacher is busy teaching, but... Margie is busy thinking or imagining what the old school looked like. Margie was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days. She was thinking about the fun they had. So students, this is the story of Margie and Tommy where they are discussing about the old kind of schools, the schools that we have. And it was really, really interesting for Maggie to know because she was hating her school because mechanical teacher was of no fun. It's very boring because according to Maggie, it was very big, fat, ugly and black. So Maggie is taken aback and she wants, she is imagining how the schools were, how the schools were so much fun, where Students met from different neighborhood. They came together, they studied together, they had fun together. And that is why she is thinking the fun they had. Means the fun the children had in the past. So students, this was all about the story. I am sure you must have understood it. Now, let me just summarize it for you. It is the year 2157. Margie makes a diary entry which reveals that Tommy has found a real book. The pages of the book have turned yellow and wrinkled which proves that the book was very old. It also shows how the concept of schools and classrooms has transformed completely 
which means that it is not like the schools that we are going to now it's totally a different school they're having a mechanical teacher and also the real book doesn't exist for them let's continue the real they read the book themselves and find the feeling of turning pages or rather funny it was funny because they were not in the habit of reading still words only ones in motion that too on a screen we learn that in the future there are no books only tele books they stored them in tv sets and computers so the margie and tommy both of them they were finding the real book to be very funny that how the pages were same when they turned it around or how the words were there they didn't go anywhere the words were not moving it was really funny for them because they have not seen anything like this they have a habit of reading the books with stand in motion now let's see tommy calls it waste because once the book is read it is of no use Their television screen has had a million of books in it on it, and one cannot throw it away. Margie is of the same opinion, but she is curious to know what the book is about. Tommy tells her that it is about school. Now, as I told you, that Margie hated school. She hated school. but now she hated it more than ever because her mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse her mother sends for the county inspector who is a round little man now um, when magi was not performing well in geography she started to hate school even more now her mother gets worried that why magi is not doing so well in geography so she calls for a mechanical teacher uh, sorry she calls for a county inspector who is a round little man he takes a television teacher apart and sets it right within an hour which only increases magi's disappointment he tells her mother that it was not magi's fault but the geography sector of the mechanical teacher was geared a little too quick and he has slowed down slowed that to an average 10 year level now when the um, county inspector had fixed the mechanic mechanical teacher magi really got very upset because she was wishing that the teacher was not be able to Uh, the county inspector will not be able to fix the mechanical teacher and she will not have to study anymore but that did not happen the uh, mechanical teacher was back into shape so she got really um, disappointed he assures her mother that margie's performance is quite satisfactory and patted her head margie is curious to know about the school that existed in the past Tommy tells her that it is not their kind of school that is the old kind of school that they had centuries ago now magi is continuously very curious to know about the schools that had the grand that her grandparents had and she really wanted to know what all the school is different from her kind of school the students had a human teacher who taught them and gave them homework and also asked them questions magi argues with tommy that a man cannot be smart enough tommy further tells that her that the teachers did not live in the same house so magi says that i cannot allow a strange man in my house so on that note tommy says that that the man will not come to your house rather you have to go to a school building where all the teachers will come and all the students will also come and study together they had a special building and all the kids went there the kids of the same age learned the same thing now it is margie's school time she goes into the school room which is night right next to her bedroom and the mechanical teacher is on and waiting for her she puts her homework in the slot with a sigh she is still thinking about the old schools they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy all the kids from the whole neighborhood came 
laughing and shouting in the schoolyard sitting together in the school room going home together at the end of the day so maggi is really finding that to be very interesting she is really happy that how all the neighborhood students they came together to the school how they had fun and they used to study together laugh together shout in the school yard play together and it must be a really good and interesting thing thing to study together and share the tiffin and as well as the homework those schools were far better than the schools of today because they offered great fun to the students obviously students no doubt that the school that we are having today is far far better than the school the maggi was having because maggi was having having a robotic teacher and that too it was she was studying alone she did not have any classmates so she is thinking that what a great fun they had who had grandfather's grandfather had so she is really interested to go back in the day and study with from a real book as well as a real teacher so this was all about the summary of the chapter now we will discuss the question answers so i hope the chapter was clear to all of you students now let's move on to the question answers of this chapter how old are maggi and tommy So I told you that Maggie was eleven years old and Tommy was thirteen years old. What did Maggie write in her diary? I hope all of you remember. Yes, Maggie wrote in her diary today that was seventeenth May twenty one fifty seven that Tommy found a real book. Yes. Had Maggie ever seen a book before? No, Maggie had. never seen a book before because she was only learning through the mechanical teacher yes what things about the book did she find strange the book had yellow and wrinkled pages the words of the book were still they did not move as the words move on the computer screen and she found these things to be very strange what do you think students that a telebook is A telebook is displayed on the television screen and the text of a telebook is similar to a book. Okay, next question. Where was Maggie's school? Did she have any classmates? Maggie's school was near her own bedroom. She did not have any classmates. What subjects did Maggie and Tommy learn? I hope all of you remember I told you Maggi learned geography and mathematics and Tommy learned history and mathematics. And this is the end of the chapter students. I hope you found it very interesting. And re really we are very really lucky to experience a real teacher in our life because it has been seen that the future will not be the very same that we are experiencing today. Okay students so we will meet in the next class with the next chapter till then take care see you